Hey yeah, guys, my name is Priscilla Elias and today we'll talk about Lightroom collections. How to keep your HD empty being a photographer. Because yeah, I think as photographers, we've all been there. Your startup disk is almost full. To make more space available on your startup disk, delete some files. Such a freaking annoying message. Urgh. That will never be a problem to you again after you watch this video. For about three years, I worked with a MacBook with an HD of 250 gigabytes. First couple of sessions, all going good, all going great. Soon enough though, bam! your disk is almost full message. Then I transferred my edited files to an external HD and to my drive, but after a while, with such little space, even that wasn't enough. I needed more space. That's when I first read about Lightroom collections. According to my readings, I didn't even need to keep any photos in my computer at all. Even while editing them, I could download them straight to an external HD and edit them in Lightroom straight from the external HD using collections. Would that work? Would it be fast enough? Would it not slow me down? I have to tell you, I was kind of skeptical about it. Just too good to be true, you know? After all, if that really worked, that meant I could simply keep my computer HD empty to run smoothly forever? Well, had nothing to lose, so I tried it out. And guess what? It worked just fine. At that time, I had a MacBook that was a dual core with 8 GB memory that wasn't even very powerful at all. I bought myself an external HD from Lacey and every time I came home from a photo shoot, I wouldn't even transfer the photos to my computer. I would transfer them straight to my external HD, create a Lightroom collection and then edit the photos straight from the external HD. Was it slow? Most of the time, it ran very smoothly. No wonder I worked three years using that method with a dual-core 8GB MacBook. When I worked with too many layers in Photoshop, though, then, yeah, I had some issues with it being slow or with it simply freezing when I tried to save it. Another important thing to point out is that with my old MacBook, I didn't even have an USB-C input. So I used a normal USB cable between my computer and this external HD, which was not the fastest way to do it at all. Then this year I started doing videos and I felt the need of a stronger computer. So I got a new MacBook with an i9 processor and 32GB memory that already had the USB-C input to it. Never had a slowdown or freezing problem again. I work with collections just as if I was editing my photos straight in my computer's HD. Talked a lot already and if you're convinced and happy to know there is a solution to your annoying computer space issue, then it's time to show you how this works. First, you will simply transfer your photos to a specific folder in your external HD. Then you'll come to Lightroom and here on the left menu, you will click the plus here by the collections menu. Then you'll click create collection. I will name the folder with the exact same name I have in my external HD, but you can name it however you want. And then you'll click create. Then in library, you will go to import. Here in Source, you will select the folder you want to import the photos from. Here's the folder I want. And here on the right, I'll mark the Add to Collection option and select the folder where I want my photos to be. The one we just created back there. Here it is. Done. Now, you will make sure you have this option up here selected correctly. That is what will allow you to edit straight from your external HD without having the photos in your computer HD. Here, you will choose the Add option, Add photos to catalog without moving them, which means you will edit them there even though they haven't been transferred to your computer. And if you have Move selected, then you will be actually uploading the photos from your external HD to your collection folder in your computer. Well, if you have Add, you're just editing them straight from where they are. Important tip though, 
If you ever change the name of your source folder or change its location in your external HD, Lightroom won't be able to find it, so you'll have to manually show it where it is in order for it to recognize that folder again. To avoid any problems, what I do is, every time I get done editing a session, I export the photos both in HD and social media versions, and then I have the edited versions not only saved to my external HD, but also to my cloud as a safety measure. That way I have my raw files in my HD and to the cloud, I have the raw files with the Lightroom adjustments in collections, to which I can go back and change or improve my editings anytime I want. And I have my exported edited files in JPEG format, both to my external HD and to the cloud. And if you want to know more about how I export and how I store my photos, I'll leave a link for a video I recently recorded talking specifically about how I export my edits and also for a video I recorded about how I store my photos in the links that you will find up here and also in the description. And that's it! All safe, no risks, empty HD so that your computer can run smoothly and you can take millions of photos without worrying with having a full HD. Nice, huh? If you like this tip, please help me out by clicking the like button, subscribing to my channel and by clicking the notification button so you will be notified when I release new videos. Also, please let me know if this tip helped you because to me, this was a lifesaver. Thanks so much for watching this, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao!